Yo guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the IX Homegrown series. This episode, we're going to do a triple header, which I was trying to decide what to do, and I thought, stop it, let's just do all of them. <laughs> so we're going to do it. So let's jump straight into the recap of what happened last episode, and go from there. So we start off after our loss against Arsenal with a 1-0 win against FC Groningen, maybe, something like that. Not... A bad performance, we dominated the game majority-wise, got the goal with Zivkovic, took the lead, quite happy, run out. Winners, lovely job. After them, we played Adio Den Haag, 3-0 victory against them, very pleasing this, he took the lead with a penalty. Excuse me. Stomach's making all sorts of noises. Nori then got the next, and Hunterlag decided to get one a little bit later on. Again, another game we pretty much dominated in terms of stats. So I think I've sort of just tweaked the formation slightly to hopefully improve. We then played Victoria Pizan, beating them 2-0. Uh, Benninger and Zivkovic getting the goals for us. Again, I rotate the team a little bit more. Le Matthias came in. Um, Benninger was in. So quite happy with it. And we're doing quite well. Now we've changed it up a bit. I'll show you after this. We then played Hercules and beat them 3-1. Again, yeah, couldn't keep the clean sheet. 80th minute they got the winner. We absolutely battered in this one. 61% of the ball, 24 shots, 11 on target. Nunley got us off to a cracking start with his two goals. Huntler got one as well, so very, very good game. Especially for Nunley, since he's just come back from a sprained an ankle as well. To get two goals back on his first team debut, or not debut, um, start, excellent. So let's jump straight into the game against PSV and then final then Benvika, which is what we're doing today. So firstly, in terms of the formation, this is what we're now going for. Going back to a structured, more structured system with more standards, so quite basic instruction, the same as the last one. In terms of the players or positions, back four is the same. Middle two are slightly different with the box to box and a ball winning midfield on defend. The advanced playmaker and then the rep and gone for an advance forward which I was meant to no nope, that's fine I was going to see if I still have Rome on but I don't so that's even better um, wingers fine inside forward fine lovely right let's get into this game and see what we can do team selection I'll be back in just a moment right this is the team we've gone for where we've gone Dykes right about um, Tyus Owusu Bambi Plassan Benninger Nunley Clivert and Zibkovic They've gone Stevenson, Gonzalez, Moreno, um, Oviedo, Vacha, Guardo, Proper, Cherny, whatever he is, and Mayer with Zuit in goal. So quite a decent team. And let's try and get a good result against them. We've had to rotate the back line slightly due to fitness, but it shouldn't be too bad. I've just remembered we're not... No, that's fine. How did it get to that? I was meant to be close that one, so that when this loads up, we'll get into the game. Right, first highlight is going to them in their um, defence, bringing it forward proper. We win the ball back. No, they, well, we do win the ball. Awusu into Klasan, bit of space ahead of him. Lovely ball through the gap of Clivert. Where's he going? Whips it in, and Zivkovic cracked the bar. How did that not go in? And then Nunley with a follow up has played it into the defender, and we got the corner from it. Van Beek whips it in. Where's he going? It's cleared. Wusu with the resulting throw in from that corner. Um, we're playing it around nicely. We're only two minutes in, but it's not a bad start to the game. Klasan. Where's he going? Can he play a decent ball? No, he's just gone easy ball to climb it. Back into Benninger. Who then loses it to Guardo. But Dykes wins it over the top of Zivkovic. He's in behind shoots. Oh, and he's put it well wide. He had plenty more time to take another touch and then pick his spot, but no. Second half starting, and other than his first couple of highlights, we haven't really done a lot. Clivert's coming in with it, though. But hopefully he can get a goal early on in the second half, because we really need it. But we keep losing the ball with silly passes like that. Mainly dominant game, we've got 63% of the ball here, and we're at home, so you really want us to get the three points you don't really want to be losing your home games so, and definitely don't let them score they've broken in behind with Cerny into the mayor shoots a good save by Dommel tips it over the bar Whew. 
since that was from the opening highlight as well because it hasn't stopped yet. They whipped the ball into the corner. Rodeval heads it out. Benninger takes it down. Can we hit him on the counter? Up to Zivkovic. Into Kluivert. He's got space to run into. Where's he going? Cuts back inside to Van Beek. Benninger plays the ball forward Klassen, but too close to him and it's lumped clear. And this is back and forth. This is still from the opening highlight. We haven't even stopped yet. All right, we've got a free kick. Play the ball out to a Wusu. Can he whip a decent ball in? He can. Huntlaw's in the middle. He scored. He's just come on as well. 60, like 68th minute. Okay, he's not just come on. That's um. Uh, 20 minutes into the second into the second half, he's come on and he's had about 20 minutes already. But lovely ball by Van Beek. Wusu, plenty of space to just pick a pass. No one's following the runners, and he's got plenty of time to just pick him out and slot it home. Not quite how I expected to score, but it's a goal. And if we can finish this game off 1 0, that'd be very nice. If we don't concede from this, they whip it in. Drummle comes out and claims it easily. And just run the clock down now, mate. Don't do anything daft. We'll play the ball long and half win it. Huntler can't get to the second ball, though. Alberto's just hopefully just going to lump it and we can just win the headers and just keep the ball in their half because it's gotten to the 92nd minute and we take the points very late but we took the points and that was quite pleasing defended relatively well there's only a couple of times they put us on the back foot and as you can see that puts us three points clear Utrecht did they lose? Utrecht were well, they? they drew with go ahead Eagles so pretty decent gives us a chance to push on and hopefully get a good lead going so I'll jump to the next game, we'll see in just a moment. Right, we're getting into this next game, and we just the team up side, we had to rotate again for fitness and the next game against Benfica is like two days or two, three days away, so I wanted to sort of have a majority of our players fit. We've got Tete, and just the like Matthias, Vigether, DeWitt, um Etting, John, Souza, Nori and Huntelaar as our team. They're going with uh, Marcellius van der Hoon, Horn, Horn Hoon, he, mm, don't know. Bottingen, Woodenberg, Tapia, Velnovic, Vinovic, I'm not pronouncing that one. Tornstra, Elia, and Boye. So again, they've got a strong team out, but hopefully our rotated team is going to be just strong and get us the points and really cause them some problems. Free kick, edge of the, literally right in the edge of the box. He's cracked it against the crossbar. <laughs> you couldn't have put that any closer to inside the box if you tried. And with the free kick in, Nori free kick corner in over the top, but it's cleared out as, only as far as John. Back down the line for Nori. Doesn't, can't, can't pull it back into the middle, but it's gone for another corner. So we'll see if we can get something from this one. Where's he going to put this? A little bit shorter, so I'm etting heads it down, but <laughs> I don't quite know who is going to. Coming up to the just gone the 80th minute, and nothing's happened this second half. It looks like it's going to run out a nil nil draw, which is a little bit disappointing. Or not, we're going to get one last chance. Play the ball out to Klassan. Where's he going? Whips it in. Can we get a late winner? Nori, and it's just who clear, and it does end nil nil, which isn't a bad result, but it's not the result I wanted. Okay, they're not having the best of seasons, Fernald. They're in seventh place, twenty three points, and they could have done with extending the gap a little bit because Utrecht have a game in hand. I don't know who they play. Could be any of them really. So let's hope they don't catch us too much. They hold for the draw again. It wasn't the most entertaining in games but it's a point it's on the board that's all that matters so let's jump to the Benfica game is it Benfica yes and I'll see you in just a moment right these are the lineups for today's last game um Awusu St Justy Rod of Eldikes Class and Van Beek Nunley Benninger Clivert and Zigovic are our starting um lineup Awusu's playing because I didn't realize Tete was out on a suspension so <laughs> he's had to come in and play there um, they're going with 
a very defensive lineup. Um, Tomato, Lindorf, Jodel, Zeka, Kellis, Horta, Silva, Chervi, Mitalodlu, and Zivkovic. With, they got Jovic on the bench. I didn't realise he was there. And some other very good players. So let's see how we get on against them now. We need a win, I think. Guarantee us Champions League um, knockout round. If not, I think we go into the Europa League knockout round. So let's see how we get on. A quick look. Yes, we're both equal on eight points. So it's basically whoever wins this gets Champions League. The loser gets Europa League. And let's aim for the winner. Right, we're getting a highlight. 27 minutes in. Just a huge from that distance. I don't quite know why. I'm sure we had a better option to play it around. But he wanted to shoot. And, okay, fair enough having the confidence to do it. But we've got the ball coming back forward. Dykes plays it into Benninger. Van Beek. Where's he going? Back around the corner for Benninger. Yep. Yeah. Where's he going? Up to... Zivkovic, can you find a decent ball through? No, he gets tackled by Selis. Up to Mitalogalu. Horta's then just got tons of space to run into. Can we tackle Zivkovic? He goes all the way out to Rafa. We block this, block this. Don't let him get the shot cross in. No, and it's somehow found his way into the back of our net. I don't quite know how he got there. Because I didn't even see Mitalogalu. Whatever his name is, till the last second, it's like he didn't even get the touch on it. It's a known goal. Radovell plays it into the um, St. Justy, and we're not really making a lot. We want it back off Horta there after he won it. Klassan, where's he going? Private's in the box. Zivkovic shoots and he scored. What a sh strike into the bottom corner, pulling us back level. Just what we needed not long after they got their goal. And we needed that. Let's see if we can push on and get a second now. Lovely little passing move. Cliver into... Not Cliver. Class into Cliver. You just see Zivkovic with space. And on his left foot, which we know is very temperamental and how good he is on his left, he actually found the corner. Servi whips the free kick in. We half clear it, but only as far as Servi. Can we win the ball back? No, he's gone all the way back to Lindoff, Who for a free kick? You think he would be in the box? He's a very big guy. Long ball out to Shervy. They've got two men in the middle again, completely unmarked. But some just a good interception. Nunley's got it into Benninger. We've got men over on this left. Cl Klassan. Oh, I keep wanting to say Clive, but he's over here. I don't know one point over here. You can't see my hand. He's over here somewhere. But we're playing the ball around quite well. But we lose the ball with stupid. Um, did it, Dilly dallying on it, and then in behind again, he rifles the shot in. What a strike! If um, uh, Class M wasn't dilly dallying on that, then they wouldn't have had that chance. This long ball at the top, I'd, St. Justy just stopped running and he just pouts it in under the heap, but nothing you could do to stop it. Oh, they've got another free kick. They put it in. Can we clear it? We can. But then this man doesn't go to it. And they get the ball again. Just They're just drifting past our players now. Can we block the shot? Oh, luckily he saved that one. But it's gone straight to Zivkovic again. Lindoff's free in the middle. And our players just are losing every single one of theirs. And I don't know what to do about it. Because before this, this full, the way the team was playing was perfect. And coming to this game, it's like, nope, we're not having anything like that. We're going to go back to how we were playing before. And we're just losing it again. Are we actually going to make any challenges? Or are they just going to keep running forward? Yes, we're going to make a challenge. But they get a chance again. It's not working for us today. Okay, we half clear it, and they're coming forward yet again. Can we, can we actually get the ball back? They're into the box for a for fourth goal. It's just, I don't know what to do against away teams in Europe. No matter what formation, what setup I use, it just doesn't work. 
we got 63% of the ball and they're just breaking us down so easily and if you can give me any pointers of what to do feel free let me know because if nothing's work nothing I'm doing is working why was he calling for offside and I was say we get away with that but we don't and they take a fifth goal this is not what I was expecting when we started this game. I thought we were actually going to have a decent shout of winning this. But no, no matter what I did in terms of tactics, just wasn't going. And can we blow the final whistle? Because it's n not going to matter now. They're playing it around, but just blow the final whistle, 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 whistle ref, and end the suffering. And yes, I was disappointing because before that we were on fire. So we finish third, so we get Europa League football. And I think the board only wanted us to get into the group stages. Yes, read the groups, so that's fine. But we're going to get champ Europa League, which I don't even know when the draw for that's going to be. Um, when does it, will it say the draw for the Europa League? Oh, all the way up here on the 15th, so another three, few weeks away. So we're just going to leave it there for this episode, and we'll come back and find out when who we're playing next. So if you've enjoyed, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, let me know what I can do against big teams and away in Europe, because nothing I do seems to work. And thank you for watching, I'll see you then, guys.